hi guys welcome again to my channel um, on this new series on Java's computation so in this video I uh, will quickly show you on the next thing to do after you have done your angle reduction for those who are just joining us for the first time please you can refer back to our previous video on how we came about all this to obtain our mean because this mean angles now is what we'll be using to get uh, to the next step so join me as we furthermore so here now is our major aim for today in this video um, I want to show you on how to obtain your final observed angles because that is what we aid us to obtain our coordinates using the Bodich rule okay the Bodich method so um, in this video uh before we continue please don't forget to hit on the subscribe icon um share with your friends who are having similar challenge um, of this kind of problems you know it will be a bad thing that you are the only one benefiting enjoying and you know growing while your friends are are not really benefiting and they are you know having similar challenges with you and you see what can help them without you helping them so please share this video hit on the notification bell so that you can get informations as we keep uploading our videos don't forget to um, like and comment on the video and keep suggesting to us what you feel our next video should be on so please follow me as we continue so we want to obtain these final observed angles but uh, you know there's no how we will go on site without we taking some set of observations without introducing some errors. This error can come from different factors. The, the systematic errors are part of it. The, you know, the environmental errors, which are the physical errors. Okay. These are kind of errors that we introduce ourselves or by nature. Okay. That will not make uh, our observations to be extremely perfect. In, in surveying times precise or accurate so we want to resolve for those errors in the angular um, part in the angular quantity there is how to resolve for errors in the in the distance in the in the length measures but then that will be when we proceed in other subsequent videos so in this part we want to do the angular misclosure we want to resolve for the errors in the angles so here is how to do that Remember the kind of traverse we, we are using, the set of observation we are using for this course of the video is the third order traverse. So the allowable disclosure for third order traverse is given as plus minus 30 seconds root n. Okay, where your n is your total number of stations, including your controls. So how to have the allowable disclosure? What this means is that whatsoever you have at the end of the day as the disclosure all right should not be greater than this allowable disclosure and how to find that find out what your own allowable disclosure because your total number of stations may not be n so therefore your allowable disclosure will not be exactly this way so for our number of stations now we have nine so how to compute that is this way so all you have to do is just zero degree zero minute then 30 seconds and just do multiply by square root of nine of course square root of nine is three so we can just put it this way so we click compute which is equal so you have one minute 30 seconds so it is plus minus one minute 30 seconds all right so your disclosure at the end of the day should not be more than this i'll still keep explaining as we go further so if you check uh, according to basic principle of geometry they said the sum of exterior angle is given as this all right where your n remember is the number of stations so all you have to do is to substitute n as 9 here if you compute this okay you are going to have 19 80 degree that is 1980 degree as the standard for the summation of this our geometry okay you know our traverse is a form of geometry okay the close connecting traverse so it is this 1980 degree for this set of uh, observations so therefore you will go further by obtaining your mean angles this simply means summation of mean angles 
what this means is that if you check here, we have our mean angles from our field angular reduction. These are the mean angles. So all we have to do is just to rewrite it here. Then we sum all this together. By the time you sum all this, all this together, you are going to be having these values. All right. You are going to be having this value. So when you have this, this value, then the next step to do is to get the misclosure. What is making this our sum of our mean angles not to be exactly the standard for our geometry of this, for the geometry of this traverse? All right. What we are expecting at the end of this summation of the mean angles is expected to be this on dot. But you will find out that it is not this on dot due to some errors so errors is really allowable to some limit and that limit is what we have actually um gauge here that the limit should not be more than this the moment it is more than one minute 30 seconds it is not allowable that means you have to review your feedwork or you have to re 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 observe you have to go to site and reconduct your your survey operation all over again so this is how to do it. So when you sum your mean angles, you find out that you are having this. Okay. So when you have this, all you have to do is to subtract it from the standard of the sum of. So you subtract it from the sum from the standard of what we are expected to have. So when you do that, you will find out that you have 48 seconds. So this 48 seconds is like the angle misclosure. That is our angles is not closing by 48 seconds. And if we check the error, okay, it is less than the allowable disclosure. So it is allowable. What this simply means is that we can spread this error across the stations. We can spread the error across the station. And that particular quantity we are spreading across is what we call adjustment. And how to have that, okay, is just to do Misclosure, which is this all over n, that is total number of stations, all right? And then you can just do 48 seconds divided by 9, you will be having 5.33 seconds. Why it is positive, okay? It's because what we are having, okay, it's less than what we are expected to have. So what we are having is less than what we are expected to have. So we are added. That is, this our summation of mean angles. It's shorting, shorting 48 seconds. So we are expected to add 48 seconds to this to have this exactly. So that is why we are having plus here and we are having plus here. Let's say after you have summed all your mean angles and you are having something bigger, all right, something bigger than what we are expected to have then your own sign here will be negative okay negative then here too will be negative so on this adjustment column remember the the, the main aim of this angle disclosure is to, is to have the final observed angles so the final observed angles are expected to be without errors okay there are observations that is that have been corrected for so all you have to do is to spread this adjustment across equally so all you have to do here is plus 5.33 seconds plus 5.33 seconds plus 5.33 seconds so you are adding this 5.33 seconds to this particular observation the mean angle for this station you add the 5.33 seconds to the mean angle of this observation to have the final observed angle so we are going to be adding for this station so for the first station we have uh 236 degree 40 minutes 10 seconds plus remember it is seconds 5.33 seconds so it's not be plus zero degrees zero minutes 5.33 seconds so here now our final observed angle for this first station is two two three six degree okay don't mind the cancellation all right 40 minutes 15.33 seconds all right you do for the next one as well so for the next one is two 200 degree 18 minutes 30 seconds plus zero degree zero minutes 5.33 seconds so what you'll be having for your next final job angle is 
200 degree 18 minutes 35 points 3, 3 seconds so therefore that is how you are going to repeat for the next subsequent stations just the way we did for the other ones so therefore the same thing will be done for the rest of the station to have their final observed angles so that is the end of this video in the next series you will find out how we are going to do the forward computation sheet okay forward computation sheet how we are going to do the forward computation to obtain our coordinates using this final observed angles thank you for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe icon invite your friends and um, keep growing till we see you again thank you